So what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video, I'm just gonna do a quick uh, old catch can install on the front side or through the PCV side of the uh, intake manifold. So this was sent out to me. Yeah, it's already open. This was sent out to me from a buddy, my buddy Alex. You can find him on Instagram. Make sure to check him out at keep underscore boosting. I'll also have it uh, here in one of the corners or also you can find it in the description. Cool guy, really cool guy actually. He really hooked me up with this. Um, just something he had laying around and didn't need anymore. So this is the JLT old catch can. And obviously it comes with the instructions, pretty detailed. And I like the fact that it has like colored pictures. It just helps a lot in distinguishing parts and what goes where. But I mean, even then it's pretty straightforward install. It comes with a business card that they send you, a sticker. And obviously catch can, comes with the hoses that you're gonna be using, comes with some clamps, two screws to uh, mount the catch can. It does also come with the bracket. So this is a 3.0 version, which is, I believe, their latest version. The bracket, I actually already mounted. All you'll need is uh, something to tighten the hose clamps and a 10 mil socket and extension. You don't need something huge, but as long as it reaches the bolts on the intake manifold. So as I said, I already installed the bracket because I actually have different screws then what comes with from the factory because uh i closed this down too hard and this like i closed the hood down too hard and this actually came off or like the, the bolts just kept getting loose like over time in driving they vibrate and they become loose um so i just installed some i guess self-tapping bolts they're not really screws but I guess kind of self-tapping and they're also a little wider the thread on them you know would catch on the plastic so i just wanted to make sure that it would actually fit through the hole because there's a hole here and you put it on this uh, left sided or the left side and then the bracket will come out this way to where the can hangs here but yeah i just wanted to make sure it would fit through i don't normally wear gloves i don't really care to get my hands dirty but Today, I just kind of, I don't know. I'm, I'm just not trying to get dirty. Damn, I'm probably struggling more to put on the damn gloves and fucking do the install. But okay, so first things first, you're gonna wanna take this out because you are gonna obviously remove the, uh, or not remove it, but you, you are gonna move the intake manifold. So this clip right here, you just pinch it here towards the back and then that little, Clip there, lifts up, wiggle it out, get this out of the way, nothing else is holding it back, and take out these five bolts, so one, two, three, four, and five, right there. And my engine bay is so damn dusty, it's disgusting. Here's that fifth bolt, actually. I was pointing at this one. I was showing this one, but it's actually back there. I don't know if you can see it. All right, so I got those out. Something I would recommend is you should probably do this when you haven't been driving your car or your car is cooled down. I actually went to Cars and Coffee today uh, here in uh, Franklin or Cool Springs area if you're from Tennessee or whatever you should you probably know what I'm talking about but yeah so don't do this when your car is hot my car is my car is as hot as freaking Satan's balls next we gotta remove well I'm gonna remove this clip just so it's not in the way you guys can see easier I guess or maybe I shouldn't let me you know what Ain't nothing wrong with looking at the instructions. I believe you remove, can you see that little green thing right there? That fitting? I'm trying to see if I could show you guys the other one. It's right there, you see that? Where it's kind of like an L and it's connected to that hose and it kind of makes a U. You disconnect it from there and you take that fitting off and then you take the green, disconnect the green one. Forget what I said about this little green thing here 
being the, the PCB clip. So b before you install the bracket itself, which I did, I went ahead and removed it. As you see there, that gives you enough space to move this back without messing anything up. And the actual PCB fitting that you need to disconnect the hose from is right there. It's really hard to see. So easy way to tell is just tracing the hose back that you disconnected from the manifold. And that little hose, I'm actually gonna use a blade to cut and remove it because we're attaching the supplied hoses with clamps. I take that back. You don't need a hose. I mean, you don't need to cut it. I don't really think I could have cut this. This is like plastic. Uh, you just gotta be really careful when you pull it off. I would say like pull and wiggle so you don't break that. Dang, look at all that oil caked up on there. But yeah, you don't wanna break that. So just wiggle and pull. Uh, you do need to pull this piece this fitting right here off of the hose because you will be using that with the supplied hoses see all right so the kit came with two hoses there's this one and then there's this one with this part here i'm pretty sure this goes to the pcv side um and then this one just goes to the manifold just to point that out i don't know if everyone's kit will come like this but mine did so just something, just a word of caution. Um, something else that I did notice is this part here that goes to the PCV isn't as flared as uh, this other one. So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, attach all this. All right, so with this hose, it's gonna go back on the manifold like this, pointing out this way to come to the left side of the uh, catch can. So I'll go ahead and do that. This other hose, you can turn the little green fitting to where it's turned slightly. So it's coming out kind of like on the right side. Well, if you're facing the car, it's gonna come out on the right side or on your right side. And I'll show you in a second. All right, so what I've been doing to try to get it in, which it, you should probably put like a little bit of oil on the inside of the uh, the hose and maybe some on the fitting is I've been kind of pushing and twisting it on and that's helped so far. So I'm almost done and I'll show you what it looks like once it's finished. All right, so I don't know if you can see it in there. It's kind of hard to tell, but well, I guess it's not gonna focus. That's as best I can get it, but it's in there. And this side is coming out through here, like that. The other one comes out. This is, well, it's gonna come out this other side once I get it all situated and where I want it. But, gonna come out right here and I'll probably just have it like this under the sensor uh, yeah because there's kind of stuff in the way uh, actually I'm gonna route it under the sensor and under this line right here so it's right here Something I'd probably recommend is if you've been driving without a catch cam for a while, I would, uh, especially if you're, you know, you've got quite a few things done to your car, is clean your intake manifold. Go ahead and just take it off completely. It's not that hard to remove. It's just those five bolts you know, the throttle body, hose clamps or whatever, take that off. Disconnect a few sensors and clean it out. It'll be worth doing it now versus later. I just don't got that time. What you wanna do is start from the center. When you reinstall the manifold, 
I'm just gonna start these off and tighten them down after I get all of them in. So I got the center one in. Start, like I said, start in the center and work your way out. Sorry, it's not the best uh, working angle. I know I just don't really have a mount. I mean, I have like a suction cup mount, but yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass trying to figure out where to put it on the car and whether it's gonna stay or not. So I just don't, I don't fuck with it. Oh, but I bring up the whole cleaning your intake manifold up because and I actually forgot to show you guys, which I meant to, but my shit was pretty fucking dirty. There it is really dirty. All right, so these bolts, you wanna torque them down to 14 pounds. I don't have a torque wrench, so I'm not gonna torque these down to 14 pounds. Oh, but you need a torque exactly to specs. Yeah, I will. Eat my ass. If you don't have a torque wrench, like myself, just kind of gauge it. You don't want to over torque this. This is plastic. Plastic on metal, so. Just gauge it. All right, that should be good. Now to install the bracket. I don't know if you can really see here. Right here's where the bracket goes. Mine so happens to be a 10 mil. I don't know what yours is gonna be. It might be the same. I honestly don't remember what the stock one is. As you see here, that's exactly how it's gonna go on the car with the you know, JLT facing right to you. So it's not gonna be upside down to you, it's gonna be the right way. So like this, basically. But before we do that, I'm gonna connect the hoses. And like I said, you're gonna have one coming from your right and one from your left if you did it properly. So the one that's connected to the block is coming from your right. Yeah, you know what? Let me go get some oil. Just get some clean oil and uh, rub it in here. And rub it on the fitting itself of the catch can. Gotta lube it up. There we go. It went in so much easier. I was struggling for no reason. I was struggling because I wanted to struggle. And then you do the same thing to the other side. Now the one that comes from your, from your left should be the one that's connected to the actual intake manifold. Because if it's not, you did something wrong. There we go. So I got it completely seated in. And now to put this in place. So it comes with two Phillips head screws. I don't know if you can see that. But you're going to use those. After the install, this is the only thing you should have left. Which is the plastic hose that was connected from the manifold to the block. And that's it. All you need is a Phillips head screwdriver and a 10 mil wrench. Maybe something else for these two bolts that hold, like well, really just this bolt that holds this latch in place because that's where you're gonna put the bracket into. But I don't know what the factory one is. Like I said earlier in the video, if that's in the video, I put, wider bolts this damn instruction flew away i put wider bolts because mine would come loose from vibrations so often that i just didn't want to deal with it no more and i put wider bolts um another good tip would be that you want to put some oil on the inner side of the hose connecting it to the catch can and 
the fitting. All right, sorry, my phone overheated again and it shut off. So as I was saying, the biggest tip I would probably say of the whole install is if you have bigger hands than mine or like, you know, I guess wider, I mean, you can't really tell, I guess. If you have like, you know, bigger arms or you're kind of stockier or whatever the word is, I'd probably say just go ahead and take out the intake manifold. It'll make life a lot easier. Also, since you're already removing it, if you are, or if since you're already there, just basically a few steps from removing it, go ahead and remove it. It's gonna make your life a whole lot easier because then you'll see the buildup that's in it and go ahead and clean that out. You know, it's probably for the best. I should have done that, but it's just hot as hell. As you can see, my phone's been shutting off because it's too damn hot, but yeah. So go ahead and get that done. Might as well knock it out. And also make sure you use some oil to kind of like lube up the fittings and the, the inside of the hose, because then that's going to make it to where it just slides right in. And again, big thank you to Alex. Uh, again, check him out. His Instagram is keep underscore boosting. And I'll have it here on the screen and also down in the description. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do. And thanks again to all of you who have been subscribed to me and you know, keep showing me your support, leaving comments and likes. I really do appreciate it. And yeah, see you later. I got it in the hole. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that's what she said, cause Pretty sure my wife watches these videos.